everyone. Thanks for joining us with Dan Spindle. I'm Sharon Park. Our top story this noon hour, keeping your family safe. This week, state safety organizations are coming together to enforce what's happening at tracks crossings. Uh, yeah, the goal is to make sure that pedestrians, bicyclists, drivers, riders, everybody knows what to do to stay safe in this 2024 Rail Safety Week. New specialist Care Bracken I spoke with UTA police about what they often see. When it comes between you and the train, even if it's just a few seconds, don't even chance it because the train will always win. There's gate arms, there's flashing lights, there's walkway things. Even that's not enough, though, when we're distracted. We see a lot of distracted people. They're nosing the phone, they're walking oblivious to their surroundings. Captain uh, Jason Peterson with UTA's police department is coming up on 25 years on the job. On top of the hustle and bustle of every day, this, he says, is a busy time of year. It's a crowded time of the season with all the events going on downtown. Uh, Christmas is on the approach, there's football games, students are back in school. Today's operation clear of the track, part of this week's Rail Safety Week, is to remind us all to do just that. Yeah. According to UTA, while reasons vary, some tracks fatalities since 2022 include a driver running a red light and getting hit by the train, while a bicyclist who went around activated gates crossed in front of one train but was struck by a second train they couldn't see because of a blocked view. The best reminder, whether running late or zoned out. When red lights are flashing, the great crossing's active and it's dangerous. In 2023, there are around 36 railway incidents, some of those resulting in injuries and some even losing their lives. The goal through this week is to keep that number down. For now, the reporting, I'm Kara Bracken for KSL 5 News.